All right. Tonight, we obviously seen yesterday on YouTube the amount of trout that we caught the other day. And if you were listening on in YouTube, it was the we were our goal was to make sure that we were going to smoke them. That's what we wanted to do with them. So to start our brine, we're going to do a little bit of different brine than we normally do, but not too much. Not a whole lot different. So we'll take our water, make sure that that we'll have our water first, but it's going to be a tad bit different. And then we're going to add our brown sugar. Then we always follow up with our rice vinegar to make sure it breaks down, to make sure it breaks down the, the brown sugar. Make sure we stir it at this point. Then we're gonna add our soy sauce. That should be good enough. And then maple syrup all the time. Your maple syrup makes your, your, makes your fillets or your smoke really pop out. So we'll probably go, I don't know, we don't, we don't have that many, so we're going to go about half of that. So then we're going to add some, I'm going to only take some of the, the peppers, I'll probably chop some of them off. These are from our garden, so, so this will give another little kick, and we'll leave, we'll put those in there, like that. And then we'll do a couple jalapenos to add another kick to it. So we'll throw those in there. One more jalapeno. We'll go for that. I don't know how. I kind of want it hot for some. Yeah, one more. <laughs> So we'll go three right now, just in case, and we'll take the last one out. Leave the last pepper out. Then the last thing we're gonna do is swift burn. Chipotle pepper hot sauce. So we're gonna dump it all in there because that's all of our kick. We're gonna have a big old kick in there. All right, we're not gonna mess around too much more with that. Then what we're gonna do is add a little bit more maple syrup. Just just kind of give it a little, little bit more. Um, then we're gonna make sure we. The thing is, the brown sugar likes to sit on the bottom, so you gotta always make sure you set it up. Now, real quick, what we're gonna do is start with our. Now, I want you guys to look at these things. Look at our, look at our trout. Look at the UV on it. The, the polka dots. They're down there, glow in the dark too. So it's really cool. So right now, we're just gonna. We're going to cut them up from their, their anus up. Then we're going to go from their... Let's see, let's cut. Let's, let's go. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. But let's just cut this inside. And then we'll go from inside and then just tear it, tear it all out for now. We'll do that. Let's do a couple more. Because our phone's going to run out. I know we weren't very well prepared, so we'll go to, with the trout, they're, they're continuously feeding, not like salmon, so you have to get the guts out of them. So we, that's what we're trying to make sure we do tonight, it's like we're not just filleting them, because we have to get all the other stuff that's inside of them out. So that's why we're gonna be ripping these off. And these ones, their teeth are ridiculous. So we're just gonna pull, pull everything out from them. And then start with the other ones kind of just randomly jumping around everywhere and they're kind of already broken so basically you can almost just take them and already start ripping them out without having to cut them if they're already if their heads are broken and I have a tub down here so I can discard everything then this like this one's head wasn't broke so we have to start from its mouth and cut it off to the top like that and then what you can do is just rip them down now that's another way too is when you're doing that 
you can stick your 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 stick through the mouth and then run it down through there if you're on the campfire and just add some seasoning to it. That's another thing you can do. You can throw it in the pan this way. You can just throw some tin foil around it, anything like that. So we've already got like four done. We'll do it a couple more times. So you just run it through the anus. Then you'll find right inside of its gills, right on each side, and then just run it outwards. Then you'll grab the bottom part, the bottom part, and then you'll just pull away, pull away from the fish and everything will come out, all right? Okay, so we did that and I'm gonna move these out a little bit. So once we do that, then we're gonna start filleting them. And then all you do is the same thing like a salmon. Just run it down and then pop it off like that. Hit the backbone pop it off like that we're not keeping the bellies or anything like that so we'll we're just gonna eliminate that and take it all off now the thing is too when we're doing trout is that we're gonna break them up into probably like thirds or so so then that way we can smoke them so when we don't go down the cage same thing just like a salmon go down the cage follow it down and then just cut it off. But we're not keeping the bellies like we normally do. Then discard it down into there, to our tub, and go into thirds. Now, we'll go to the next one. These ones normally are really, really pink. We'll go all the way down to the tail, but this one's actually not pink, so. Maybe we're in there early to where they're not feeding as well on bugs or anything. So we'll discard the belly. This ones are thin, so we're only gonna go in halves with them. And we're gonna smoke this. We get here, and you always don't want to chop off. The, I see everybody chopping the salmon's head off too, and it, I'm just like, I don't know, have mixed emotions about that, but the same thing is, is like you have nothing to hang on to. So I always like to keep my head so I have something to grab, grab onto, like to anchor off on. I'd rather not see people cut the heads off because it just seems, uh, I don't know. To me, it's just, in my opinion, it's just like, it's something that you need, I guess, to hold on to. So you won't see me ever doing that cutting them off unless someone gave them to me and I'm trying to do it and we'll cut them in, in halves right now and throw them in there run it down flip it over and then run it down all the way down and the thing is with trout you have to make sure you watch for bones Then we'll cut these out in half. We're only going in halves now because these, I feel like these are a smaller fish. So I don't wanna like make them too small because the thing is, is that when you make them smaller, when you're smoking them, then your fire has to be really small. Go really light anyways. Because what happens is like, you have to almost do like a little small, small, slow, cold smoke to them because if you're trying to do it like salmon, then what will happen is that these ones will basically cook. You might as well just fry them in your smoker. Almost turn around and plate it on the back side. So. Then, so what we'll do is just put it like a little couple wood chips in there and then we'll keep it to a cold smoke, not, not a heavy cold smoke, but at the same time, we're not putting a fire up there. To where we're torching it so I'm not gonna go too much longer because right, it's gonna be repetitive it's gonna be the same thing over and over but I wanted to show everybody like what we do with our trout because it's just like the same thing but a little bit different than salmon we like we like cutting them just as we like much catching them I mean you look you'll hear me say that all the time I love catching my trout but I love cutting them just as much, or the salmon, or my elk, anything I ever do, I love doing it just as much. And this one's small, so we can throw that all in there. So without taking like a whole bunch of other 
a lot of extra time up right now. Um, we're gonna call it quits, and then we're gonna finish this up for everybody, and then probably take out some of the trout to work, or if anybody wants to try it out, has any questions, let me know. Love you guys.